Hi Gemini, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Gemini people that what will happen from 15th of June till 30th of June 2022. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a cross spread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen overall. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some cards out for your love life. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some extra messages for you from Gypsy Cards. So watch the video till the end so you get all the messages. Let's start with Tarot. And if you're interested in buying a personal reading with me, I do these readings on video called Skype. So if you're interested in buying a reading, you can just add me on Skype and we'll take you from there. My Skype ID is written on the screen right now. And it's also in the description of this video. Okay. Messages for Cancer. Oh, sorry. Messages for Gemini. I'm really sorry about that. Messages for Gemini. 15th to 30th of June. Messages for Gemini. 15th to 30th of June. Messages for Gemini. 15th to 30th of June. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 30th of June. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 30th of June. Okay, Gemini. One, two, three, four, and five. So, okay. Uh, for a few of you, it's a general kind of message. For some of you, you have ended something with this death in the background. So something ended in your life. For some of you, not for everybody. For a few of you, it can be about a marriage. Maybe you're going through an ending of a marriage. It's for a few of you, not for everybody. Okay. Now, uh, King of Pentacles we have here. So you're very focused on your uh, maybe work, finances or your stability overall. And uh, you're very focused on your uh, finances. And uh, some of you uh, feel that uh, you already have what you need. Uh, or what you want. It can be like that for some of you. But mostly it's about work, finances, money and very practical energy right now. You are in a very uh, settling kind of energy. Maybe some of you are thinking about getting married. Maybe you have somebody in mind and you want to get married to them for a few of you. Uh, some of you are thinking about getting settled in life, like getting married or something like that. Before that, we have lovers. So there is definitely, there was love going on in your life. Uh, you were on a crossroad of making some kind of decision in some area of your life. For lots of you, it's about love. You having choices in love options in love and uh, for some of you it may be uh, another thing choices in job or business or something like that but you were on a crossroad uh, to make a choice to make a decision in your mind space we have nine of pentacles so again uh, a, a financial uh, uh, like gains I think your financial situation uh, maybe is getting better or maybe you want to get it better. Uh, but I, I see that you are in a very independent state of mind right now. Whether you're married or whether you're in a committed relationship or whether whatever is going on in your life, you are in a very independent and free spirited kind of energy. And uh, you like your independence, you want your independence. Some of you maybe are uh, starting some independent business. And uh, 
you have your own comfort zone right now and you are very uh, comfortable in your own space and your own comfort zone at this point in time. Underneath we have chariot. So you are ready to roll, ready to go, ready to move forward. For some of you, maybe you are dragging two situations parallel in some area of your life. For some of you, it's in work, some of you in love. Two situations together moving forward with you, you are uh, pushing two situations and you are determined uh, to do that, you to keep on doing that. For some of you, not for everybody. But overall, you are determined to get victory and you, get, you want to get, you are determined to get your way and you are moving forward. Uh, and you know that there are troubles in the way or uh, hurdles in the way, but you don't care. You are determined to win. What's coming towards you is Knight of Swords. So you're going to be very hasty in the second half of uh, June. You're going to be uh, moving really fast and uh, communicating and uh, taking steps very quickly. So keep that in mind that uh, you're not going to be patient. So some of you can be short tempered in the second half of June and say any, uh, something you don't want to say in anger or something like that to somebody. Uh, uh, and uh, you'll also be moving very fast. Things will be moving, uh, happening quickly in your life. Uh, but it's, it's more of a hastiness here. Uh, not very negative, but still, uh, more patience will be needed because you will be acting quickly and you'll be saying things quickly and uh, for a few of you it can also be that you're going to cut somebody or something out of your life for a few of you not for everybody let's pull some cards out for your love life love messages for gemini 15th to 30th of june love messages for gemini 15th to 30th of June. Okay, Gemini. One, two, and three. Okay, uh, Queen of Cups. So you have been... Uh, for some of you, you have an option in love and you are thinking about it. Uh... Maybe somebody has showed interest in you or asked you out or something like that and you are thinking about it. For some of you it's like that and for some of you you are feeling love but you are not expressing that much. Being silent. You are going to get some kind of clarity in the second half of June about your love life, Ace of Swords here. So it can be a beginning also. And it can be a beginning of you getting clarity. But again, it's like some of you can cut somebody out of your love life. Like cutting some situation which is not serving you anymore. Some of you, not everybody. But there is definitely going to be love in your life with this two of cups here. So, I don't know, uh, maybe another situation will arise and you'll get love. Maybe you'll end one situation, start another situation. It can be like that for some of you. Uh, but we have Queen of Cups here, we have Two of Cups here. So, definitely it's going to be romantic for you in the second half of June. But this Ace of Swords is going to do something. These are general readings. I cannot be pinpointing whatever is going on. But something is going to happen and but there is going to be love around you in the second half of June. Okay, now let's pull some extra messages for you from Gypsy Cards. 
What else for Gemini? 15th to 30th of June. Okay, you can have some uh, health issues or you will be feeling that your energy is low and you'll be lying down a lot. Maybe it's happening right now before the second half, but it's about you having a low energy. So it can be some health issue also and it can also be Maybe it's not a health issue. Maybe it's just like you feeling down and lying down a lot. What else for Gemini? 15th to 30th of June. There is a person coming in for you uh, in your love life. Showing interest in you. Yeah, and uh, that's there is going to be communication. Maybe somebody is going to offer you love or... Uh, show interest in you romantically please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel if you like what i do and thank you so much for watching the video stay blessed always